today's video, I'm going to show you how to read construction drawings. Most people refer to them as blueprints, so let's figure out why. Mom, roll, roll the clip. clip. So construction drawings used to be drawn by hand and then reproduced or copied using light sensitive sheets. The process utilized a photosensitive ferric compound to duplicate these drawings, which would turn the page blue after light exposure. Nowadays, the term blueprints isn't really used in the construction industry and people just refer to them as drawings or plans. There's still a process to making construction drawings. They usually come in three sets, schematic design, design development, and then your actual construction drawings. After a client dreams up their proposed building or renovated space, they can engage a licensed architect who will then transfer their vision onto a drawing set. Architects get clients that are both construction savvy and construction illiterate. Well, they don't know too much about how to read drawings. So the architect then just has to start off with the basics, a napkin and a pen or the schematic design set. The schematic design set is drafted to show just general size, location, and layout of the space. Really nothing more. The architect will consult with the client and review these schematic design drawings before they move on to the design development drawings where they further refine this drawing set. If it happens to be a larger project, you would probably also have engineers working with you. This could be civil engineers, structural engineers, landscaping designers, if the architect subcontracts these engineers, then you usually have multiple companies working on a drawing set. This could be the explanation and shed some light as to why drawings have so many conflicting details. Bruh. Okay, we arrived at the construction documents. This is what's meant to be the last set prior to actual construction, including further details to explain how the building is intended to be built or renovated. On a larger scale project, your architect has already engaged the city and gone through the process of marrying both your client's drawings and city requirements. These city requirements could range from local codes, laws, specific material use, to rules regarding signage placement. It really comes down to your local jurisdiction on this and what they want. Representation through this process is the service your architect provides. At the same time the building department is reviewing these drawings, the client has typically engaged a few general contractors or construction managers to bid and facilitate the construction portion of the project. During the bidding process, the client can add and remove certain aspects of the project based on changes that they want. These can be issued via construction addendum or addenda. All right, congratulations, you've been awarded the job. Let's learn how to read construction drawings. Okay. Construction drawings can have one or multiple sections based on the type of construction project. These sections each depict an aspect of the project. These sections may include the general series, life safety series, architectural series, structural, civil, plumbing, electrical, mechanical, low voltage, landscaping, fire protection, and many others. In an upcoming video series, I'm actually going to go in depth on each of these series or sections of drawing, that being your architectural versus your structural, what you may find on them, what you won't find on them, and how to coordinate between all of them. So stay tuned for that. So now that we understand that these sections exist, let's talk about the drawings. Each page or sheet has a number associated with it. This number is located in the bottom right hand corner of the page and tells you which section or series you're actually in. If you want to look to the general series, you look for the sheet that starts with G. If you want to look at the architectural series, you look for the sheet that starts with A. So on and so forth. Structural, S. Civil, C. Landscaping, L. You get the point. So if somebody asks you to look at the architectural drawings, you can just look at the bottom right corner, and find the A, and then you're there. Following the letter signifying the section or sheet number you're in, you'll usually see two or three numbers. So the full sheet number could be A100, S100, C200, C201, etc. It all depends on the architect or engineer numbering those pages. On a large square foot construction project, you might not be able to depict everything on one page, so the architect could use the 100 series just to depict floor plans. This could be section 1, 101, section 2 being 102, section 3 being 103. Okay, so remember, if they organize the drawings by A100, meaning first floor, and A200, meaning second floor, they could also just title the pages as such. A100, first floor architectural. A200, second floor architectural, but really they're just going to name them as best they can to describe exactly what's on that page. The page title is the first indication as to what you're going to find on that page. If you're looking at a digital set of construction drawings, typically the file name is the drawing title name. If you're looking at an actual construction drawing set, 
The title is usually listed right above the sheet number. The architect will typically distribute the drawing set as a combined PDF. They usually do this for convenience. You can always ask the architect for each individual file. That way you can reference different sheets and titles just based on a file name. If an architect needs to update a drawing, they'll usually issue a construction bulletin. There will usually be a CB1, CB2 indicating construction bulletin 1, construction bulletin 2, etc. Now that we know about drawing sheets and page titles and navigating to certain sections like the architectural set or the structural set, let's actually talk about what's on the drawing page. The drawing page may contain smaller drawings, which we refer to as details. Also, there can be narratives and other context clues with symbols relating back to these drawings that can help us understand the intent of the detail and ultimately how we're supposed to build the building. These drawing details, narratives, and context clues may also lead us back to what we call the specifications, another critical document when building a building. I'll cover the specifications in detail in a separate video. So when looking at drawing details, we're typically looking at one of four different detail types. I'm gonna use this building model to help explain the four types of details that we'll see. The first type of drawing detail is plan view. Plan view is an overhead looking view, essentially if you were a bird looking down at a certain aspect of the building. The second type of drawing detail is the elevation view. Essentially, if you are on a sidewalk looking at a building, you're looking at a particular elevation. These elevations could be both interior such as what you'd see on a wall or in a room, or exterior, the facade of your building. The third type of detail is the section cut. Imagine taking a knife and slicing through a cake and removing half the cake. You're left with the layers of the cake that you can see. You do the same thing with the building. You slice through the building and you look in a particular direction. That's your section cut. The fourth type of detail is an isometric view, which essentially gives you a 3D image of a certain aspect of the building. Let's look closer at this drawing page. Here is an example of a plan view detail. Here is an elevation view. This is an example of a section cut. Last, this is what an isometric detail looks like. So let's take a step back and look at this drawing page. Let's look at this one drawing detail. If you've noticed, this drawing detail has a lot of numbers and symbols on it, what do these mean? So we're on sheet A100 and we're looking at detail one. But within this detail, there is something circled that says six on A200. That actually takes us to a new drawing page. A200 is a separate drawing. Six is the detail that it's referencing on that page. So this is actually how you navigate through the drawing set and understand the different aspects of the building utilizing these details. You start with the most zoomed out detail or elevation and you start working your way into finer and finer details that show more and more intent of how to actually build the building. So some good practice would be starting on that most zoomed out drawing and then following the details in and see where it leads you and just read the drawings and try to understand them. Okay, so hopefully this helps explain the basics of reading and navigating through drawing sets. I would just suggest getting your hands on a copy and just looking through them and start reading them. It'll help you digest and learn what you're looking at and how it compares to what you would actually build. If this video helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe as I'll go in depth on different series of drawings in some future videos. Thanks again. Have a good one.